Hello, class. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello, can you listen to me, Robert? Fatima. Hello, good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again. I can listen to you very well. I can listen to you very well. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to be here too. Thank you for joining in. Robert, Ana Maria, I think Dennis, Fatima, and David are connected. Well, it's Monday and it's, this is our third week, right? So how was your weekend? I really hope you guys had a great weekend. We're gonna start you know, um, the class for today. And um, I really want to thank you guys for having finished uh, you know, all the exercises of the platform since they were two last, that was yesterday, right? December the 3rd. So thank you so much for your completion. I really appreciate that. The, company itself, you know, thanks, thanks you for, you know, for this. Well, we're going to start today's session. And uh, today's topic is, is about, um, I think you already, you might already seen it, um, but we're going to, you know, have some time to practice. I really want to hear you speak in the language. And we're going to start learning some vocabulary related to geography, okay? And so let me start sharing the screen so you guys can see it, okay? One second, please. I was asked to work on that platform. So that means that I'm gonna be using the platform like 100%, okay? So we all like make sure we review, you know, the the contents and whatever is in there so we can you know clarify questions in case there is any we know that you you had to complete all the exercises maybe in a rush because it was like kind of fast however we well, thank you for your you know interest in, in completing the platform so guys this is the the class objective and like i mentioned we're going to be learning about uh, vocabulary related to geography, okay? Before I get started on the next activity, I would like to know if you know any word that we can use in geography, in English, that you would like to share. You can open your microphone or you can simply send it by, by chat. Right, so maybe there isn't any any um word. So we're gonna watch this video, and I will ask you to not only repeat the vocabulary that we have here, but also to write all the words, all the new words down. You know, you find. So here we go. Let me just a second because I need to make sure I play the audio too. See, yeah. Here it is. Okay. Here we go. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Thank you. May I have a volunteer to read all uh, the vocabulary once again, please? I want to check on the pronunciation. I don't know if you pay attention or if you already knew how to say it. Can I have anyone just, you know, to go over this vocabulary? My recommendation is to uh, write these words down, okay? 
write it down and then uh, you can write next to it maybe if it is better for you to write the translation do it but if you can write a, a quick uh, definition as another technique as a matter of fact robert um a, a very good technique that works when it comes to improving or enhancing the vocabulary is by writing or investigating definitions. Okay, so yeah, well, go ahead, please, thank you. Okay, letter A says beach. Uh, and this one I got confused because it's like, it's like a path tree. Desert or desert? How do you say? That is a great question. So yeah, that's why we need to uh, check on this, Robert. No problem. Well, the one we're studying here, since it's about geography, is desert. desert. A desert. Okay. Desert. The other and then, one. It, then the one is forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, or if you want to say mountain. It's like weird, but ocean, uh, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Well, two things. First of all, it's not uh, it's not weird. What happened is that the sound is if this sound it, it has an explanation in phonetics, but then you can say mountain. It sounds like the 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 T A I N comes out like a nasal sound that's why you say mountain and it sounds good it's like when you say Man 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 when you say manhattan i know you know yeah manhattan is the same thing like written yeah of course. I've, I've, I've written now those those letters for for Parula, written so that sound is similar but then yeah you said it that was that was good and then uh talking about the word desert and dessert uh actually it's dessert Dessert is the is like is as you mentioned. It can be pastry, like uh, when you go to a restaurant, you can have an apple pie. You can ask for you know something sweet. That's a that's that's a dessert. Dessert, dessert, and this is desert. And then what is the difference in the spelling? How how do you spell uh, dessert? Anybody? How do you spell um, dessert? When you go to the restaurant, they show you a, a menu, right? You have the appetizers, you have the entrees or the starters, and then you have the main course. And then there is a, there is a part in the menu that says dessert and some sides, you know? And then, so how do you spell that, that, that one? Do you know that? Yes, just one volunteer to spell it out for, for the whole class. I want to make sure it is clear and the difference between these, these two words. Uh, Roberto Guzman, thank you, Roberto. Todas las leo, verdad? Um, actually, I'm just like asking, but thank you for your participation about the spelling of the second one. How do you spell dessert? That's the one where like dessert. Uh huh. Because how do you spell D E S E R T? Oh, that's that's the one we have here. That's desert. Yes, okay. sir. But what about dessert? And I want to write it here so we don't confuse it. Uh, the one we I'm just. It's talking about is the one we we have on the on a restaurant menu, right? This one is double double S dessert, dessert exactly. But then the, the one that we have here is desert, which is a part of land where there is no um trees or there's no life. That's the desert. Okay. Um what about the first one? I want to clarify this because the first one tends to be confused with a very profane word, right? So don't be afraid to say beach, beach. Beach is the one we have here. 
the other sound is gonna be your homework but uh you know you just i just want to say this when you when you pronounce the profane word you have to add a t as in tango sound so if you say the t in between you might be saying the the wrong word so for this one just say beach 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 beach, beach. i never pronounced any t so when i say beach 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 fine uh, my best uh, tip for this, to, so you make sure you don't confuse the word, is to practice like on translator, Google Translator, and you say uh, "beach," and say, and then you say the the other word to see if you if you pronounce it correctly. That's the way I, I practice it, in, and it really works. Now, uh, I need. I think it was gonna be Roberto. Roberto, now you can do it. You can read all of them, please. All the, this vocabulary. I think Alfredo wanted to participate too. Alfredo, or or do you have any question? Mm, the spell, dijo. Uh, I was asking for the spelling for the the one we have on the menu on a restaurant menu, but I already like wrote it on the screen as you can see. It's already there. It's just double S. Uh huh. No, I don't understand. Um, yeah, no problem. What I'm saying is that I was asking for the spelling, but the spelling is already here. This word, the one that I'm pointing at this moment, class, is just, uh, it's another word. It's not the same as, this one is desert and this one is dessert. So the double S one, the dessert one, is something else. It's not talking about geography. It's talking about, you know, uh, something sweet that we eat when we go to a restaurant or maybe when we are invited to a party or maybe you you, you do it yourself at home. That would depend. But this is for eating. Okay? And this one is, is beach. Beach, 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 beach. Okay, like this. I don't say the letter T because if I say it, then I'm going to be saying something different. Okay? Well, um, so I'm going to keep one or two minutes for you to only write the ones that you don't know. Because I know some of them are very, very easy or very popular, but some of them not that much. So take two minutes to write them down on your uh, notes. Okay, now let's do something. I'm gonna give you one more minute for you to choose just one. The one that you find most interesting or the one that you didn't know. And if you have access to internet, look for the definition. I'll give you one more minute. I know that if you have access to the, to the, to the internet, it's gonna be easier for you to just type in one of these and say definition. And then I'm going to ask for some of you to read the definition. Just choose one, okay? Okay. When you have your definition, please raise your hand. I believe, like, I strongly believe that in order for us to improve or enhance, do you know the word enhance, guys? Do you know that? You know this word, enhance. 
let me uh, hold on. Let's see, okay, let me stop the video right here. Well, I it's already gone. It's okay. I'm gonna stop here. I really hope everybody got your your um your word. So let's uh study vocabulary, but let's do it like fast because we don't have much time. So whenever you want to expand on your vocabulary, you want to enhance it, a good way to do so, like I said at the beginning, is by um you know brilliant definitions. So that's why. So the what I'm using is this one. Do you know what it means? Yes. All right, so if you if you know that one, it's fine. You know, in case you didn't know, you can like, this is like a synonym of improving, right? When you improve, when you expand on your learning, that is enhancing, okay? Okay, good. So let's see, who wants to, who wants to uh, participate by reading the definition you chose? Diego, which one did you choose? The dynamic uh, was uh, search the concept, the, the, the word, right? I can choose just one because, yeah, they were presented like few words and then you want to choose just one, the one you like the most or the one you didn't know in case. And uh, well, in my case, I searched the, the word ocean. What is the definition for, of ocean? And uh, about National Geographic, the ocean is a huge body of salt water that covered about 71% of the Earth's surface. Nice. I like it. You know, uh, my question is, if everybody in this class understood what uh, Diego just read, he mentioned like really good words that we need to, that we all need to know. So thank you so much, Diego. And then if you understood everything about what you read, that's cool. Because maybe in the definition you find other words, right? But I like I like the definition you just read. Thank you so much. All right, Diego, choose somebody else from the from the group. There are twenty two students connected. Uh, maybe Robert Guzman. Okay. Robert Guzman. Okay. What was the one you chose, Robert? La verdad, casi no le entendí en sí lo que era el ejercicio, profe. No, no worries. The, the exercise is just to look for definitions, okay? And once again, I'm going to mention this. In order for us to improve, we need to look for definitions uh, of words. That is a way to enhance our vocabulary, okay? And that means, uh, like, for example, if I don't know what a waterfall is, then I want to say, um, like this, you can go to Google and say waterfall, waterfall, and then, but don't translate the word. My my purpose is to tell you, do not translate the words. Try to look for definition because at your level, you are pre-intermediate, you are supposed to be uh, speaking the language, right? And that's why I want you to practice. Like if I just investigated one, waterfall. What is waterfall? It says it's a it's a cascade of water falling from from a from a height form uh, when a river or a stream flows over a uh, uh, deep or inclined. It says, see, so that's another definition, and I'm I'm, I'm like uh, improving my vocabulary by reading definition. That's one way. It's just the exercise is just to find one definition. I'm I'm I only have time for one or two more. In case you didn't do it, just, you know, maybe next time you can do it. But one more participation, please. Who investigated any other definition? No? Nobody else? All right. So maybe uh, you might not have access to the, to the net. But then I just leave you the idea, you know, look for definitions. That's a way to improve. Do not do not only translate, okay, and try to understand word from 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 the context. All right. So let's move on. We're gonna uh, keep 
moving on because there are some topics about grammar that I need to go over. And besides this, our next lesson, guys, is like to make comparatives, comparison. Let's see, uh, Alfredo, can you please read the class uh, objective? This one, read it, please. Participant will listen to a conversation about geography. Comparison with adjective will first be introduced. All right, thank you so much. So the topic, the main topic is, first of all, we have some geography, right? Now we're moving on to comparison. So before I start the next the next uh, topic or the next video, I want to know if you know how to make comparisons. And if anybody wants to open um, his or her microphone and give me and give the class an example of a comparison. How do we make comparisons, class? That's my question. My question is, how do we make comparisons? This is my question. How do we make comparisons? How do we make comparisons? Do you know? I know you already completed this lesson, right? But then I want you to participate. The purpose of the class is that you demonstrate that you have understood the, the objective and the lesson. So tell me. This is a compar uh, comparative adjectives. And then we got uh, the another one is uh, I forgot the last one, but there are both that we can use for my uh, like comparison between, but I forgot the, the other one. Comparisons and superlatives. This is today's ah, superlatives. Superlatives. Ah, superlatives. Exactly. I was Perfect. talking about superlatives. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we use super, uh, comparative for comparing uh, two things, might be person or animals or whatever things, or we can compare the knowledge or I can say we use the uh, competitive object objectives for doing that or make a comparison between two things exactly thank you so much yeah to make comparisons right all right good is to make comparison comparison between two things exactly all right so based on your opinion thank you so much robert for your participation you know it's really accurate i would like to know if, if anybody in this class can give us an example using i don't know ideas uh, your own ideas or maybe um the, the contents of, of this class about geography or maybe whatever it is you know around you where you, where you are and then you can make a comparison i'll give you an example Let's see, my example would be, so talking, talking about this class. Let's see, Robert, Robert Beltran, this is a basic one, is how do I make a comparison between Robert and somebody else? So Robert, Robert Beltran, I don't know if it's Robert Beltran, is what? Taller. Okay, taller. And then what is the word that I'm that I need to make a comparison? There's a structure that I need to use. For me. Yeah, there is one word that is like required, that is necessary. If I'm using the comparative form like this one, where I use the the base form of the verb plus E-R, and there is a word that is mandatory to be put here. What is the word? How do you say this? Robert is taller, and then I say another name. I'm gonna mention um, Peter, just to give an example. Something is missing here. What is the word? What's the word that is missing here? Guys, what is the word missing here? 
There's one word missing here, so I can make the comparative. Robert, Robert Beltran is taller than Robert Guzman. So the one that I'm looking for like, is that. Exactly. That's the one I was looking for. Now, the question is, are you familiar in how to make comparatives using this structure? If you are, please send me one sentence on the chat. Basic comparison. comparison. There are also other ways to make comparis comparisons, but we're not gonna go over that. There is one that is when we use as plus base form as. For example, I can say Robert is as tall as Peter. That is a comparison, but I'm expressing similarities, right? That's another way, but the one we're gonna focus on today is the easiest one, which is about this structure. So um, send me send me one idea on your own, like use your use the meeting chat to, to create one sentence before I play the video. Is there any? So that was the example. And then anybody who, let's see on the chat. Fluently is the adjective, right? More fluently, that's good. All right, so anybody else? Anybody else who might have another answer? I would love to have more opinions because I know you might be busy. I know you might say I already finished this course, but still, you know, even me, like, uh, I mean, I know that I been like maybe working with this same topic for so many times, but I always learn something new, always. Even if it's something repetitive for me, I always, you know, find new words, which I think whenever we start speaking, we find them. That's the purpose, okay? So please uh, don't be uh, so shy, feel confident, and, and, and practice. Provide me with your ideas. Let's make of this 60 minutes, not like, not only teacher speaking time, but students speaking time. My car is more faster than yours. So then, then just right there, we have one, observation Diego I'm gonna give it in a minute the dog is bigger than the dog, than the cat the dog and the cat my sister is faster than me exactly so let's let's talk about the exercise Diego just shared it's not because I want to criticize you Diego just that we want to put it as an example okay so we all learn let's make of this environment something safe where we all want to learn so let me put it right here and then I'm gonna play the video so Robert, this is the one I saw there. My car is more faster than yours. Well, what is the mistake here? Does anybody know what the mistake is in this one? Let's, who can help? So we learn. Uh, we don't, we have to get rid of more. Have to get rid of more, yeah. My car is faster, faster than yours. So the question is, how did Robert Beltran uh, know that we have to remove more? And how do we know that? That's the question, right? But then we have to study the rules. And in the next videos, there, are, there is a chart given. I'm pretty sure you already saw it. We're gonna watch it just to review, okay? Let's see. My... Islands are smaller than countries. Nice, Fatima. Good job, Fatima. Walter is steiner, like tiny. There is, I think we need to uh, check on this one. And then they, then David, the man. Okay, good. And then we have two more examples. And what about using the vocabulary for, for, for the class? Anybody about geography? Uh, no. I like the one that says island are uh, smaller than countries because you're using island. Anybody else? One more, and then we're gonna watch on the 
the next period. Uh -huh. One more, please. Okay, I wanna I wanna share one more. Mm -hmm. Um. Yes, please. Mount mountains are higher than hills. <laughs> you see, you have another one. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're comparing mountains and hills, right? You see, mm -hmm. great. Awesome. So, um, my house is smaller than Juan's house. Good. Thank you so much, Vladimir. That's, that's the idea. And I would love to hear you saying it. So Coca-Cola is what you can be. <laughs> yeah. Then remember to add then like D T H A N, right? Then then beers. Okay. And then future. I know what it means. Maybe delicious, right? Delicious. The food is the food was better than yesterday. Uh -huh. The food was better, right? That is that is a comparison. Good. I'm glad you already got this idea. So let's move on. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about on this topic because we are going to work on comparative and superlatives. All right, let's move on. I think there's one sentence more. I'm stronger than my sister. I, I don't doubt it. I, I know. All right, let's move on. Let's see. Let's watch the video. There's a conversation, guys. Which is larger? Let's pay attention to it. If you saw it already, nice. Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. As you can see, this conversation talks about comparatives and they're comparing like places, right, countries. And so what I like about this is, you know, that we learn also while we are practicing our language. So let's have some practice. I'm gonna need two volunteers. One that's going to be like, let me see, one is gonna be Mike and the other one is going to be Wendy. There are so many things that we have to talk about this conversation. Let's check on pronunciation. Let's check on, um, you know, vocabulary too. So who wants to role play? Who wants to play the role of Mike? Anybody? It's larger. Larger is a comparative, Alfredo. Yes. Let's um, try to, you know, participate. Let's, so we, uh, you know, so you take the time to practice. I know at this level, you need a lot of practice. I know for sure that. So the more you practice, the better it is. And don't be afraid to make mistakes in case you are, you are saying, I don't want to participate because uh, I think I'm going to mess, mess up or I'm going to make a mistake. Just let it flow. If you're saying it's too easy, then why don't you do it? So you will learn from you and everybody, you know, also listen to the way you, you say things and we help each other. So it's all about your attitude. I would love to hear some participations, at least two, so we can move on and let, we're going to discuss on the topic about comparisons, the groups.
Diego is ready to participate. Thank you so much. One more. Jocelyn, Walter, and I have a lot of you who are like with the cameras off. And then, I don't know what the reason is that you guys have the cameras off, but I think I'm gonna send a report, you know? All right, let's see. Uh, I have Robert and Diego. Thank you so much, class. Just go ahead and Diego is going to be Mike and Robert is going to be Wendy. Okay, they play um, the, the role play, you know, like this. Go. Okay, cool. Um, here's a, a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know uh, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it is Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is most Crowed, crowed. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the high high hill? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the high hill. Thank you so much. Wendy, she's really good at geography, right? She knows a lot well in this conversation. Great, let's see. I'm just gonna go over some, some things like really quick. First of all, there is word. We tend to say question, but the correct one is not question, it's question. You barely pronounce the T sound and it's, that makes a difference. Right. When I say question, question listen to me. When question. I say question, that's not the way it is pronounced. Question is not question, it's question. Do you hear the difference? Question, question. There's a different. So ba basically, you mentioned the T very fast. Question, 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 question. And instead of, say, instead of saying question, you say question. You see it different? So the correct one is question, no question. All right? Just, you know, for you to like uh, practice on that. Next one, um, river. River, guys, river. I'm like, I'm like, I'm being very like, uh, I don't want, I don't mean to be like, I don't want to only focus on the bad things, but because of time, because of time. In case, uh, in case I don't say any other word, it's because you did a good job on that, and uh, and don't don't take me wrong, okay? So let's see what else. Um, crowded, crowded. You can say crowded or crowded. You know. Any volunteer to to give me a synonym for crowded? Any synonym for crowded? Crowded. Mm -hmm. What is a synonym for this? Do you know what crowd? Uh -huh. Muy poblado, algo así. Yes, you're right. A lot of people, right? Full of people. That is that is crowded. Uh -huh. And then let's see. Highest. Highest. High, like high is the base form, but then highest is the superlative form. Based on this conversation, guys, I want you to um, observe it and tell me which comparatives do you find and which superlatives do you find in this? Who wants to, you know, analyze this conversation? Like very, a little bit quick. Teacher, excuse me, what does it mean, crowd? Crowded is, the synonym for crowded is a place or where it's, Full of something, like especially people. Like when we talk about crowdy, it's talking about population, right? Population. You go to a concert, right? Full of people, right? A concert, if it's a very famous or popular singer, you know, a lot of people get to the place. So it's crowded, like too many, a lot of people in a, on the same place. That's crowded. Very, very like crowded that what it means okay and okay cool thank you 
Good. Any other guys, any other word that you might? No, all right, all right. Then what are some comparatives you find here on this conversation? Anybody? Just give me one and say, hey, I think this is comparative because it's comparing this place and this other. Or I believe this is superlative because if you know, you know what I'm talking about, just go ahead and raise your hand and tell me, please. If you don't know, it's, okay. it's also fine. We can discuss it. That's the point of this class as well. Long guess. Long guess. Comparative or superlative? Uh, superlative. I thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, longest river. Good. Any other? Like, you know, that's, that's the way, you know, I, I like you to participate. So anybody else? Larger. Larger. Comparative or superlative? Comparative. Exactly. Nice. Good job. I like it. Well done. Anybody else? Any other? There are more here that we can mention. More crowded. More crowded. crowded. Exactly. More crowded. Comparative or superlative? Superlative. Comparative. More comparative. Yeah. More crowded. We say I think Monaco is more crowded because it's comparing. Monaco and Singapore. That's why is there is comparing two places. That's why it's comparatives. Okay, and more is added because there's explanation as to why we say more and we don't say crowded. Mm -mm, it's not that. It's like more crowded. But then the big question is when do we add more, right? So let's talk about that. That's in the next. That's in the next um videos. Okay, I think it's time for us to move on. Any questions? Any questions, guys? Any questions before we move on? Guys? Can you? Are we okay with this pronunciation? Right. Okay, that's so. We're going to work on the next video, and that's going to be our last one. And uh, this one that goes after, you know, it's really important for us to pay attention. I'm going to play it and then you listen to it. There we go. The second. China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Monaco? Or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the next one. And then now we're gonna get to the topic, right? We only have 15 minutes. Please ask questions if you have any. What is the objective of this class, Griselda Velasquez? What is the lesson objective? I think Griselda maybe is having a problem with uh, microphone because I don't listen to anything. <laughs> Judy Magdalena, would you like to read the lesson objective? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Thank you. All right, 
So um, the, the lesson objective is by the end of this lesson session, participants will know how to ask or how to ask and answer questions using comparisons with adjectives. Let's see that's uh, our main focus on comparison with adjectives. Let's uh, listen to it and then we're going to discuss in a minute. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. All right, uh, I stopped the video because I want to make sure you guys understand the difference between short, long, and irregular adjectives. So let's start by brainstorming some ideas. I want to see, I want to read on the chat, short adjectives. Send, send the, the ones that you think they're short. And then we're gonna see the, the rules as to why we can say one is short and one is long. There, is, there are some things that we have to consider. But then send me on the chat, if you are listening to me, short spelling adjectives. I'm going to give you one, two minutes. Let's brainstorm. So how do we, what are some adjectives that we know that they're short form? I'm going to give you an example. Short, All right? For me, this one is short. You see the one I just sent on the chat? Tall, T-A-L-L, tall. How do I know it's short? So that's the big question we're going to address in a minute. What other adjective do you know? Just to help, you know, on my point is that an adjective describes something, provides details as to something, how something is. We only have 11 minutes. I, I would want to hear like, um, or at least let's, let's discuss on these three differences. Short, long, and irregular. I am going to do something because it's the, the purpose is not to just play the video. The purpose is to clarify and to make sure you understand the, the topic. But if you don't ask, if you don't participate, how do I know you know? How do I know you are you understand what I'm saying? If you don't ask, then something is wrong. Maybe I'm not being clear, maybe this is confusing, or maybe you just don't want to participate, it's too easy. But then I really want to know what's going on. Otherwise, I'm gonna be just speaking myself and I think it doesn't have any sense if I'm speaking only me at the end it's me is not the one who wants to learn or practice the language it's you but in order for me to help you i want to listen to you of course and i want to provide you with feedback so let's let's do this short i'm gonna i'm gonna write here short i'm gonna say long and i'm gonna say irregular with this. Of course, we're talking about adjectives. And we're talking about spelling. We we'll talk about short, long, and irregular. We're talking about spelling, right? How they are written. Okay. So let's make, when I say spelling, we're talking about syllables, right? How many it how many each of them has? How do I know it's short? So I'm going to give three minutes. If you can write on the screen to it and just select the one where you're going to be placing one of your adjectives. I know it's Monday. I know you might be tired, but still, I need your participation on this. I'm going to start by, by giving one example. All right, let me change the color of my pen. Use green. Okay, here. I'm going to use a different one. 
let's see <clears throat> slow slow short long see amazing wonderful I don't know. irregular okay i'm gonna irregulars are they're just few i'm gonna write one which is irregular Good. this is irregular because would better and best the best see that's my irregular one so what's your homework here what are short what are long and what are irregulars irregular maybe with two or three we're okay there's not many but then um the most common ones are only two but they're still like sometimes sometimes what four sometimes five the one that we use the most based on this idea we're talking about adjectives class please tell me help me to complete these ideas. Uh, huh? Anybody? Okay, what's the what's the catch here? The catch here is to make sure you are on the same page with the topic. If you guys know what is a uh, long and what is a uh, short or what is an irregular adjectives we're not as of now we're not talking about comparatives because in order for us to understand you know the next two topics if like comparatives and superlatives we need to understand first the adjectives type right that's why we're just trying to make a difference between this spelling you know I get it I got right. it I got it Okay, so you want me to give you examples of irregular adjectives and regular uh, adjectives? Exactly. Mm, okay. Yeah, you, like, mm -hmm, go ahead. You have given one example of irregular adjective, mm -hmm. so it's good, better, and the best. I have no other one, which is a uh, far, farther, and farthest. Okay. Okay. Like this one? Mm. I don't know. I don't think so. It's farther. Like with the but I don't remember very well the, the way that I gotta read it. Okay. That I got that I gotta write it down. Okay. But I just got the the pronunciation and I got the word on my mind. That's good. You know, that's that's telling that's telling me and telling you that you you have the idea that you're not gonna say uh, like what you know that it is uh irregular, you're not going to apply the the rule, right? To make comparative or superlatives. That's good. I was telling, I don't know if if you listen, that there are like maybe five um adjectives that are irregular. They're not they're not many, right? Just 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 uh some of them, right? Well, in this case, like I'm gonna say I thought that the one you were mentioning is the one that I just wrote, but then um I don't know you, if you, you, you got bad. Uh-huh. You got bad and you got worse, you got exactly worse. exactly that that's the other one that is very common. Yeah, the one you just mentioned. And yeah, then the, the one that I'm, I'm like, you just gave me here is the one that I, I think is like the one I was writing here down. But then you say that you're not this one. Further is like further, and then we have the furthest, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, but that, that's the one I believe, you know, you wanted to mention, but I need to, yeah. I need, or maybe with that, actually you can say like this too. And it, it, is, it is also an option, you know, further, the spelling is like this, and then the other one you just need to say the for it's like this one. Look like this one. That's also that's also possible. And then you just mentioned the next one, which is another very common one, and I want to write it before we finish the class. And this is the one you mentioned that is bad, and you said words, and then the words, right? Exactly. Yeah. So this one, as a matter of fact, this one are the most common ones. The one that it is good, this one, and bad, 
These are very common, the most common ones. This is the most common. Talking about irregulars, right? And what about um, the long and short? Tomorrow we're going to discuss how to make sentences. Please don't miss the class. If you already know the topic, fine, but it's still connect and ask questions. And let's try to create sentences. And if it's possible, let's make short paragraphs using adjectives, comparing and making comparisons, okay? But then before we finish the class, give me more examples. With short and long spelling, And so we, we are like we are many connected, but I, I don't know if it's if it's confusing. If it another spelling like short one, short spelling. Let's let me give you an idea. If it's one syllable, it's short. No. Yeah, you just gotta add the er at the end of uh -huh. the word. So what are some others? Like we're not as of now with the with the long and, and short one, we haven't gone into comparatives and superlative. We just I just mentioned the regular because they're not common. But talking about this one, we haven't mentioned yet the formulas, right? The formulas to make comparatives or superlatives. But I just want you to, I want to you know make sure you guys know the, the spelling rule. Okay, Jocelyn says P. Okay, I'm gonna use only P. P. Nice. What about long? What is a long spelling one? That are that are like long, it can be more than two syllables. Two syllables or more. Hmm? Two syllables more. Yeah, there are many. Uh, <laughs> what about bigger? This? Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not talking, Rafael. We're not talking about comparative yet. I know I know you mentioned bigger, but bigger is a comparative of somebody has the microphone open. Can you please no. right? Uh, what about this one? Don't don't uh let's not confuse the topic. As of now, talking about short and long, we're not talking about comparative yet. We're just talking about distinguishing, like differentiating the short and long spelling. That's all. As of now, that is the topic. I understand that if you want to make a comparative, this is going to be slower, right? Slower. And then the slowest, but that's going to be comparative and superlative. But as of now, my question for you guys is just tell me, you know, long and short adjectives. That's it. I don't want to hear more about comparative or superlative because tomorrow we're going to discuss about that. Rows and sentences. As of now, let's only differentiate to try to have this picture clear as to what are the long and what are the short ones. And then um, since we don't have more time, I would love you to investigate for tomorrow in case you, you haven't seen the video. Actually, the video explains it. Try at least to bring, I'm going to start tomorrow by asking you to give me five long and five short adjectives. And if you can investigate about this, the irregular ones, just, you know, do it because they're not many, just a few. Mm. Like I, five. I, 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 mm -hmm. I, right now, I get it. I, I, I didn't realize where you were what you were talking about but uh, you the long additives are in the middle of those in the mm -hmm, shorts mm -hmm. at my left in the regular exactly. i got in my right right uh, i i i really i really get it nice um, exactly tomorrow, i'm good i'm good to, tomorrow robert we're gonna talk about like comparative and superlative rules I don't want to go into that because we don't have much time. Tomorrow we're gonna be using the base. This one's class just to finish up. These ones are base form. 
base form, okay? Base, only base. Tomorrow we're gonna discuss about the rules to make comparative and superlatives. The only thing, the only, uh, I mentioned the irregular one because they're different, okay? They're different. They're into, into a separate, you know, chart. And uh, well, we're gonna talk about this tomorrow. I think time is over, but then please try to participate and ask questions. For me, that's crucial, that's important. Otherwise, I'm gonna be talking myself and just go over it and somebody else, Diego, and just what different from time to time, but then the rest, I don't know if they're sleeping or, or taking a nap, I don't know. Have a good one and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.